we want to identify and combine the like terms. Like terms are terms that have the exact same variable factors, meaning the exact same variables with the exact same exponents. If we do have like terms, we add or subtract them by adding or subtracting the coefficients, and the variable part remains the same. Looking at our first expression, we have 3v plus 7v minus v plus v. Notice how each of these terms has exactly one factor of v, so they're all like terms, which mean they can be combined. Before we combine them, though, it'll be helpful to think of minus v as minus 1v and plus v as plus 1v. So now to combine these like terms, we can determine the coefficient by adding or subtracting the coefficients of the like terms, and the variable part, in this case v, will remain the same. So the coefficient will be 3 plus 7 minus 1 plus 1. Notice how here we have 10 minus 1 plus 1, so we have 10v. After we're comfortable combining like terms, we normally stop showing this work here, but in this video we will show it. Next we have 5x plus 6x squared plus 8x plus x cubed minus x squared. We'll begin by identifying the like terms. There's only one x cubed term, but notice how there are two x squared terms here and here, which can be combined. And there are also two x terms here and here, which can be combined. Before we combine the terms though, it'll be helpful to think of minus x squared as minus one x squared to more easily identify the coefficient. So now when we simplify, we want the highest degree terms first. Let's write our x cubed term. And now we'll combine the x squared terms. We have six x squared minus one x squared. So the coefficient is going to be six minus one. The variable part will remain x squared. And then we have plus, we wanna combine the x terms. So we have five x plus eight x. So the coefficient is going to be five plus eight. The variable part remains x. So simplifying the coefficients, we have x cubed plus five x squared, and then we have plus 13 x. Next we have five c plus two d plus c and then minus negative three d. In the first step here, let's write minus negative three d as plus three d. And now we'll identify the like terms. We have two c terms, 5c, c, and we have two d terms, 2d and 3d. So we'll begin by combining the c terms. Before we do this though, again we can think of plus c as plus 1c if that's helpful. So 5c plus 1c will have a coefficient of 5 plus 1. The variable factor remains c. And then to combine the d terms, we have 5c plus, we have 2d plus 3d, so the coefficient would be 2 plus 3, the variable factor remains d. So simplifying the coefficients, we have 6c plus 5d. And as I mentioned earlier, after doing this a while, you probably will see 5c plus 1c and just write 6c, and you'll write 2d plus 3d as just 5d. Looking at the last example, we have 1 half y minus 3 sevenths y plus y. Notice how all these terms are like terms, so we can go ahead and combine them. Again, we want to think of plus y as plus 1y. So when we combine these terms, the coefficient is going to be 1 half minus 3 sevenths plus 1, which I'll write as plus 1 over 1, and the variable factor, or the variable part, will be just y. So to add and subtract these fractions, we must obtain a common denominator, which would be 14. So let's multiply 1 half by 7 over 7. We'll multiply 3 sevenths by 2 over 2. We'll multiply 1 over 1 by 14 over 14. So now we will have a denominator of 14. The numerator is going to be seven minus six, that's one, plus 14, that's 15. So all these terms combine to 15 fourteenths y. I hope you found this helpful.